Welcome to the Trailblazers, where we discover and profile those millennial founders whose inventions use technology for social good. This episode, we decided to cover the media world and zone in on an area that everyone I know is familiar with, cinema and film. Yes, and given the impact of cinema on many of our lives, we found a startup who wanted to capitalize on this and use it to build a fascinating platform that aims to break down cultural barriers by uniting us through the power of human stories. They're called FilmDo, and they also want to work with emerging talent to give young filmmakers a chance to have their films seen by an international audience. And given the film industry is known to be very hard to break into, this could be invaluable. The founder, Virada, is a passionate millennial who wants to use film to overcome any misplaced stigma and lack of understanding towards other cultures by exposing people to really credible cinema. They also want to work with language schools, community centres and universities to find a way to make their international films accessible to those institutions. You know what? Let's hear firsthand from Virada. Virada, thank you for being on the Trailblazers. Thank really you. excited to have you here. So look, Film Do is a very intriguing mm -hmm. concept to us. You don't often see cinema, film or the arts covered that extensively in the tech or startups world. Tell us about the concept. Sure. So Film Do is a new online platform and we're redefining the way people discover and engage with content from around the world. Anything from feature film to documentary to short films. Every year, thousands of films get made around the world. Um, many of these are festival award-winning films, yet so few ever get international distribution. So at Film Do, we're here to change this. So it's almost a discovery platform mm. as well, isn't it? Absolutely. For folks that normally wouldn't get to see a really great piece of film. Yeah that otherwise might only be doing the circuits at the indie film festivals. Absolutely, absolutely. So when did the idea for Film Do actually take seed in your brain? Um, this is the short version and the long version. The short version was in 2013. Uh, me and my co-founder, we wanted to watch a Korean film called Masquerade. It was uh, one of the biggest South Korean film ever. It grossed 80 million box office. It sweeped the Korean Oscars. But we couldn't see it anywhere in the UK, neither online or on DVD. So my co-founders, who's a lawyer, we looked into this and we understood it was a legal problem. And then when we really looked into it, there's a whole world of films out there that don't get distributed. So timing-wise, why now? The film industry is ripe for disruption. Um, it's probably where the music industry was five years ago. Uh, on one hand, we have more and more people doing digital uh, video production as the cost and the ease of uh, as the cost fall and the ease of the video production fall. But on the other hand, there needs to be a mechanism to discover more of, the, of these content. So, in order to gain critical mass, let's play mm. devil's advocate slightly. Sure. What do you need to do to ensure this doesn't become a niche platform? It's not really a niche product. We're at the tipping point and we are providing global content. So we're not going after art house or niche audience. We're making mainstream audience, uh, making it easier for them to discover content that's relevant, interesting for them from around the world. And you know, globally, um, there's a big international diaspora, Korean, you know, second or third generation Korean, Indian, Chinese living around the world. That's who we're expanding as well. It's a mass market. So where do you want to take film do in the future then? So Film Do is more than just an online platform to watch films. We really want to be that community for film fans around the world to connect each other, to discover great films. But more importantly, we want to be what accelerators are to start up. So really helping you know, emerging filmmakers around the world to get their voices heard and to get their films seen. Because films really have the medium to really, you know, push a cause or really have that messaging and it's an emotional medium to really raise awareness and also promote cultural integration so that's what we really want to get at. Absolutely. So there's clear social good value here as well from the platform. Absolutely. Which is really interesting. So I want to get a bit personal here sure. and find out more about you, right? So are you more calm? Are you more hyper? Are you somewhere in between? What would people say about you? Um, Depends on who you're talking to uh, and also depends on you know, at which period you're talking to, I guess. So, are you quite the adventurer? Definitely. Uh, I'm an adventurer, I'm an explorer um, and, and you know, I try to learn and uh, discover new things all the time, whether it's cuisine or travel or music. Um, I say I always try anything once. So from cinema to startups, got everything covered. Absolutely. Listen, thank you so much for having this conversation with me today. I think mm -hmm. Film is a very exciting thank platform. You. There's a lot of social good value Absolutely. there as a kind of showcase for mm -hmm. emerging filmmakers. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. 
Right, so for our fun segment, Virada is going to show me an authentic Thai dance. That's right. Right. Mm. We start like that. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ Oh, that's quite like Namaste. <laughs> yeah, it's a fundamental position. It's yeah. called the Jeep in Thai. Okay. And the other hand would be um, uh, higher up. Got it. And Thai people love the curved finger. Oh, so since ooh. a young age, the children would you know, uh, get their fingers bent so they could be really curved. Oh my curved. goodness, yeah. really? So this is. Then, I clearly didn't do that when I was a kid, so my fingers are quite straight. <laughs> and then you would switch yeah. the other way around, so this right. would become the jeep, and then you ah, the other one. Would, yeah, got it. That's right, and you oh, bend beautiful. the fingers backwards. So now, is there one more move you're going to show me? Uh, yeah. So after you do that, another move could be like this. Oh. Oh, very pretty. Like a bird, yeah. It's that's very it. doll-like. Right. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's very good. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for showing us this. <laughs> film do are clearly trying to boost discovery and accessibility of engaging films and content from across the world to a wide audience. But what struck us, and hopefully you guys, is how this could really encourage more folks to learn about other cultures. In particular, their emerging film talent category could provide a much-needed platform to filmmakers who simply won't get this exposure anywhere else. Absolutely. Another episode, another super trailblazer. Thanks for tuning in. What's your favorite kind of food? Um, I like sausage a lot. It's just I don't know if you want to put that. Like, <laughs> I like here. So I, I don't know. My friends always make fun of me, but that's the one thing. Or showcase their films and not get ripped off. Let's kick on. Oh, I miss your sound effects. Let's kick off with Distribute, who want to help rights holders benefit from those 